Duval White House was built in 1730. It's the oldest brick house in North Carolina. They have proof of that. It's the most beautiful house in the world. Joshua, somebody, built it himself, and the only way you could get to his land was by boat. He was a Quaker, we think. Many, 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 many families lived there. Right? And it ended up with Mama and Daddy owning the house and the land. Mother was neither white, and she married John Henry Newbold. And I was born in the Great Hall, that's what they call it now. It was the dining room then. It was warm in the winter and cool in the summer. And we had a wide open view of fields. It was always cool because the brick wall was so thick. And the bricks were made at the new bowl house. Up on the hill they found clay so they could make these large brick. And they did the Fleming Bond. That's a gray, half of a brick showing and then a whole and when you go at that, you'll, you'll recognize it. It's a little bit different. All red brick. We had a bathroom put in, a real bathroom. When I was 10 years old, mother raised turkeys for a year to get $100 to have plumbing put in for her girls. A Delco pump so we wouldn't have to have an outhouse. There were two bedrooms upstairs with the fireplace from the living room going into the bedroom. I could fly up those steps and needed them. My sister and I shared a room and we had a feather bed, but it was it was dormer windows all the way across the top. And the closet was showing brick. We would open the closet door, which is still there. You see a part of a brick wall. That was my closet. And when I went to the Naval Academy to the ring dance, my evening dress, smell like apple brandy because my grand one of my grandfathers used to store apple brandy up there that he made and one keg exploded one time. So all the evening dresses and clothes smell like apple brandy. Just a little bit. I think they grew grain back in the old days. My, my family grew cotton, peanuts, and soybeans. It was, a, it was a very comfortable home, and it was unique, and it was charming. Oh yes, I could have lived out there and raised pheasants. Edward would have been very happy, but it was... It was just too much country for me. I'd been out in the Navy in the world then, and I didn't want to live out in the country. Yeah. Even though I loved it, it was home to me. It was, it was mine. It was my home. It'll always belong to me.
another question about the Newbold White House. What did you call it before it was called the Newbold White House? Home. Um, Just home? It wasn't called the Newbold Farm or anything like that? Home. Um, What's your favorite memory there? Daddy. 